Yep, I moved to Boston for grad school and she moved to Raleigh and that's when we finally started talking. I had a crush on her for a long time. Mm -hmm. She eventually, uh, she knew, but didn't, you know, she pretended not to yeah. for both of us. I came back to visit one Christmas, I guess, and she lived in Raleigh and that's where I was flying because it's Delta from RDU to Logan. Mm -hmm. And so I flew in one time and offered to make her dinner. That's what she apparently had clicked for her at least. Chris, my love, my best friend, my partner. You are the best man I have ever known. You bring laughter and joy to all of my days. You comfort me, support me, and encourage me. You inspire me to be a better version of myself. I mean, I didn't even eat vegetables before we dated. Um, and you challenged me to grow as a person and a partner. But you also accept me as my true self. You love me even when my true self doesn't match my best self. With you, I feel safe, secure, and precious, like finally coming home. First of all, I promise to be patient. As you and I both know, patience is a big part of how we finally ended up together. <laughs> and you've proven me that the best things in life are always worth waiting for. Because even though it was excruciating waiting for the right time to acknowledge that driving a round trip from Wilmington to Boone for lunch and a movie might not have totally been a just friend's gesture, deep down I knew that we needed time to grow up on our own so that we could be ready to grow old with each other. I'll get you home I'm so grateful for the 10 years of friendship we've shared that have built the solid foundation of our relationship. We've already shared some amazing times together and we've also been through some incredibly difficult ones. But each experience has made us stronger in our love. So today, and for all the days to come, I promise to love you, support you, and comfort you. I promise to encourage you and challenge you and to accept you as your true self, puns and all. I promise to communicate with honesty and respect, to act with patience and grace, and to trust you as my equal partner in this life. Above all, I promise not to choose myself or to choose you, but to choose us every day. about all the things you whenever you eat you talk and he said you know I, I I've got something I've just been struggling with I don't know what to do about it and I stared at him like you mean your giant crush on Lacey <laughs> <laughs> so when she told me um, that she and Chris had started dating I remember the day perfectly clearly because I knew it was gonna change everything um, I, I just knew I knew it was it was it um, and I was scared because I thought everything was going to change and I was going to lose my best friend and I was going to lose my sister and it's, everything did change um, but I didn't realize how perfect it was going to be um, because you took our triangle, me and Emma and Lacey and you turned it into a square and <laughs> I have to say, Lacey for many many years you were Chris's dream, dream girl who I heard about all the time Sadly, you're not her, her his dream, her dream girl anymore. You're just not. Because the thing about dreams is they change, they fade, they let you down. You're real. He's actually got you. And now you're stuck with him. Lastly, I promise to kill every bug <laughs> and to get out. <laughs> Don't ask me to start today. <laughs> and to get out of bed to check every noise. 
and to keep you as safe as best I can for as long as I live. And lastly, I promise to love you.